and Kim Kardashian was Paris Hilton's assistant. This week on MTV News Unfiltered, we dive deep into our favorite moments from Naughty's era Kim, mainly the time she endorsed a toilet. We also find out who the most influential celebrities on Twitter are and discuss the enormous animal the internet is losing the plot over. It's a cow. I did ecstasy once and I got married. I did it again. I made a sex tape like everything bad would happen. You were high on ecstasy when you had a sex tape? Absolutely. Yep, Kim Kardashian's admitted that she was on ecstasy when she made her infamous sex tape. Unfortunately, a bunch of people are kicking off on Twitter that she's only famous for spreading her legs and doing illegal drugs, which is unfair. It condemns women for being sexual. Women have sex too. Get over it. But it's also not the only reason she's famous. And while it's safe to say that Naughty's Kim was very different from the immaculately preened businesswoman she is today, we will always have a special place in our heart for young Kimmy. Here's why. Back before she was famous for endorsing things like waist trainers and grilled chicken salads, Kim put her name behind much more humble, important services. She endorsed toilets. Specifically, some shaman restrooms being put by Times Square. Laugh all you want, but this is the kind of celebrity endorsement we can get behind. Get it? Less weight loss products perpetuating narrow and unhealthy beauty ideals, more public restrooms. We want Stormzy promoting cleaner loser at Glastonbury. Ariana endorsing an app that tells you where every public restroom in the city is and then rates them. It's what the people need. Now cast your mind back to a time when Kim was Paris Hilton's hardworking assistant, charged with organizing her vast collection of juicy couture tracksuits. Speaking of Kim and Paris, please enjoy this clip of them dancing to Paris's terribly brilliant banger, Stars Are Blind. Unfortunately, due to legal reasons, we cannot show this iconic moment. Instead, here's a picture of Kim Kardashian holding a stuffed kangaroo as Paris Hilton kisses it. You're welcome. Kim's subsequent ascent to superstardom proves that with a bit of hard work and a very savvy momager, it's possible to come out of the shadows of your best frenemy and later cast the ultimate shade by dressing them as your clone for your famous husband's fashion campaign. Bless you, young Kim. We love you. Hey guys, look at this huge cow. Yep, the internet is currently losing the plot over Nick is the cow. That's Nick is the cow, not Nick is the cow, like I assumed everyone was saying for the first hour. As Becca tweets, ladies, if he is Australian, is 6'4", almost as tall as Michael Jordan, is seven years old, is an enormous steer, moves, then he's not your man. He's Nick is the cow. Spare a thought for Farmer and Nick's owner Jeff Pearson from Perth, who told The Guardian, it's out of control. The media coverage, not the cow. He adds, I didn't expect it to go as far as it has. I've been called every 10 minutes since four o'clock this morning. He didn't expect it to go as far as this. Has he seen the cow? Has he heard of the internet? As Chrissy Teigen tweeted, damn, that is one huge cow. This is why I buy internet on flight. I almost saw that six hours after you guys did. Imagine. Lest you fear that some sick human will turn Nickers into the world's largest steak, don't. He's apparently too large to be processed by a normal abattoir. That's the kind of self-empowerment we need, people. You are your own savior. Clearly, it's understandable why Twitter has lost it over Nickers. But with all the international acclaim, let's just hope he doesn't get too big for his hooves. Damn it, I almost got it all the way through without a cow pun. <laughs> Taylor Swift and Liam Payne are apparently the most influential people on Twitter, despite neither having the ability to potentially spark a nuclear war with a tweet. That's all you, Donald. Social media analysis company Brandwatch have compiled a list of the most influential tweeters of the year. We trawled the feeds of the top four to find their best tweets, so you don't have to. Despite only tweeting 13 times, Taylor Swift tops the list of most influential females. Her best tweet was her most recent one, all the way back in June, which simply reads angels at Robbie Williams, with a video of her performing Angels with, unsurprisingly, Robbie Williams. That's it. That's the tweet. Liam Payne tops the list of most influential men, perhaps due to his perceptive insights into the intricacies of the human condition. He wrote, Honestly, life feels like a movie sometimes. The ups and downs and twists and turns. Despite the drama, choose your own genre. Try and make it a comedy or a rom-com. And when you need to, bring the action. From now on, I will simply choose to live life as an indie rom-com directed by Greta Gerwig, with Aquafina playing my best friend and Timothy Chalamet, my love interest. Donald Trump is the second most influential male, which I guess isn't surprising given the fact he almost started a potential World War III over the internet. We don't have a favorite tweet. Next. Katy Perry is the second most influential woman. Best tweet? Honestly, whoever named it a Lazy Susan wasn't giving it enough credit. That thing can serve several people in one sitting without any of us having to lift our butts out of seats or pass a dish. More food, less action, let's go. And there you have it. A nice broad range of tweets spanning all the important things like Robbie Williams, Lazy Susans, and an impending apocalypse. Great work, everyone.